we are poolside, or shall we say set side? We are. Right here behind us. <laughs> With Kirsten Lee, we're here on the set of Walk a Mile in My Prada. Hello, thank you. And Kirsten, actually, you're one of the stars of the show. And what's what's the character that you play? Um, I play Sarah. She's the leading lady, the lead female. Um, she is. Tony's fiance. So she has quite a good emotional arc because at the beginning of the film she's very happy, she's just about to get married. And then she starts to realize that something's a problem, something's wrong. Because um, my co star, Tony, who's played by Nathaniel Marston, he um, starts to have feelings of a homosexual nature. And she can tell something's up. So she obviously gets very stressed, very confused. She doesn't know whether she should go ahead with the wedding or not. Um, and then we'll leave it till the and film comes out to see how it ends. Well, they can't hear everything, can no, exactly. they? <laughs> so what happened? I'm not going to say. Actually, in the movie scheduled for a holiday release, a Christmas holiday? Yes, it's, it's definitely set around Christmas, which is... Um, been interesting to film in this kind of heat and in the valley. <laughs> now, now, Kristen has her sunglasses on, so you might not quite recognize her, but oh, there she is! Well, we are in California, it's a beautiful sunny day. And Kristen, you're also on some other shows people might have seen you on, aren't you? Um, I am uh, sometimes host on Holly Scoop, which is something I co EP. Um, it shows on CW channels, KTLA, um, sunny evenings. Um, so I do hosting work. I played um, the part of a TV reporter, British reporter, in a film, in a short film called Her Time. And then I've just done two other films this year. I did Storage and I did a film called Look At Me, where I played a teacher called Mariana. Wow, you have been busy. That's busy. all been this year? Yeah, this has been pretty much all this year. So it has been a busy year so far. But that's good. I'm, I'm very, very grateful, really. To, to be working in Hollywood. Actually, that's pretty diverse. Uh, what kind of roles are you looking for? That's today? a very good question. Um, do you know, I don't know. I think it really depends. Um, I'm going to definitely take a short break after I do this film because everything's been back to back so far. Um, and um, I'd like to kind of reevaluate, you know, see where I am at the end of this film and my, my level and then see what opportunities are on the table. I've been looking at some other scripts. Um, one in particular is um, I would be an FBI agent, so that would be something very different and that's definitely something interesting to me. I do shooting, so I've been practicing for that, so it's a possibility. Wow, it almost sounds like you can like create, well actually the characters are there, but you get to live all totally different lifestyles for the characters. I mean, that's the wonderful thing about acting, isn't it? Which is what I love most, yeah. You do get to be different people all the time. Now there's also two stars that are also on the show, co-starring with you. You've got Tom Arnold yes, I'm and Nathaniel, or as you called him, Nate. Nate yeah. <laughs> Nate's been fantastic to work with, really, really has. Um, he's a very strong character, not only in the film, but in real life. Um, but he's a great teacher. He teaches me so much. I mean, I'm rel ver very relatively new to the industry compared to him. He's a very seasoned actor. And I could tell that in, from the very first table read, he came in and he nailed everything. And he's such a pro, he's so professional. He's really, really great. And he goes through things with me, you know, in between takes when we're just all sitting around. He'll talk to me and say, you know, this is what I just explained to the camera guy, to the second AD, this is, we're gonna be shooting on 30 instead of 40. And this is what this frame means. And I mean, for someone to be that generous, lots of actors aren't that generous, and, and he really is. So, I mean, it's been such a wonderful experience to work with him. It really has. Wow, that's pretty incredible. <laughs> now, of course, I also have to ask you about Holly Scoop, because it's entirely different. <laughs> what, look at that smile. What's one of your favorite things to do with Holly Scoop? <laughs> um, well, this year I interviewed um, a designer called Lloyd Klein, who has a couture boutique in West Hollywood. I interviewed him just before the Oscars. Um, I'm very fortunate I've been able to be a guest at the o Oscars before. And um, I interviewed him about dressing people for the Oscars and awards season, dressing people on the red carpet. He's dressed so many celebrities, you know, from Faye Dunaway, Kim Kardashian to, uh, you know, 
Paris Hilton, old time people, old, new time people, everyone, you know. And um, he's also a dear friend. I saw him at LA Fashion Week. So um, he, he's really good. And, and I was. I thought that everything I was going to ask him, he would have been asked a hundred times before. And he said, actually, I've never been asked any of these questions oh, before. Really? So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and actually, a couple of times I stumped him. And he was, he was saying, can we pause a minute and I'll just think of an answer. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh, okay, I'm sorry. What was um, something that he told you that was totally unexpected in the red carpet preparation? Was well, something that I asked him? Yeah, that... Um, gosh, I can't remember now. Now you've got me stumped. Um, but I think, uh, actually can't, I can't remember. I'd have to think back. Yeah, mm. sorry. Now if you were to act with or interview an actor or actress, who would you like to interview or act with? Um, that's a great question too. Um, I mean, ultimately in, in the big scheme of things, acting wise, probably someone like Tom Cruise would just be incredible to mm -hmm. work with. Um, I think he's got an incredible energy, really incredible energy, and he's so professional. Um, I really admire his work ethic. I remember, you know, reading about him as I was growing up and wanted to be an actor. And he was talking to a director on the phone, and he said something like, "You know me. You know, if you want me to be on set at 6:30, I'm there at 5:30 a.m. If you want me to do it 10 times, I'll do it 12. I'll do whatever it takes to get you your film, your picture." And and I really took that on board, and that's exactly how I want to be as an actor, or when I'm working, and how I like to be as professional as possible and give the director what he needs. It's not just about, you know, me looking good in a scene, it's about getting the film together, you know, what can we, how can we make this a really beautiful overall picture and, and get the storyline and morals across and ultimately get, you know, bums on seats in, in the movie theatre or cinema as we call it. Well, maybe that's why he's had so many movies that made over a hundred million dollars. <laughs> precisely, precisely. So, yeah, ultimately he would be the, the most amazing person to interview and act with. Definitely. So if I were Tom Cruise across <laughs> from you and you wanted to audition or convince I'd say, Let's me. Have a swim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, now? Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, now she's blushing. Mm -hmm. Sorry, finish your question. <laughs> I think I got the answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what you were going to ask me. No. If I, if I were Tom Cruise, or if Tom Cruise was sitting across from you, and you were going to audition for a part, and you wanted to convince him that you were the person, what would you do? Oh, um, that's interesting. I think it depends on the part. Um, I actually try not to take it, if I go on audition and, I, and I'm not right for a part, I don't really take it too personally. Um, some things you're right for, some things you're not. Um, it's a bit like some people like you, some people they don't, you know? Mm -hmm. um, they might have someone else in mind, they, they might want a blonde, they might want a brunette. It doesn't, it's not really that personal, you know? You're going to be right for something else. Um, so it depends what he, would, he wanted from the role and what I could contribute to the film. But I would definitely think of all the ways in which I could help and be um, a good contribution to whatever he was making and obviously assure him through my experience and through talking to him that I would be professional and I would let him down, I'd be reliable and he would get whatever he needed from me. I'd do whatever it takes. Well, Kristen, I have a feeling we're going to be seeing you a lot more in front of the big screen <laughs> and the great. small screen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And where can people catch up with you on the internet? Oh, well, I have a website, kirstenlee.com. Um, I have a small um, production company, lovely.com. So it's lovely media. Because um, obviously we do films, television, and we may do an online internet fashion magazine in the future, which we were working on, but I haven't mentioned that. <laughs> oh, okay. So stay tuned to what Christian's doing. Probably the best ways to check out your website. Yeah, just go to www.kirstenlee.com. Well, Kirsten, thank you very, very much. I think the stage is almost set up for the next scene. <laughs> you can join the party. They're getting close. Extra. <laughs>